how to create a curved arrow design to use with YouTube videos. One of those ones that points to various things in Finti Photo. Go to the ellipse tool, select that and apply. Now you could use any color, but red seems to be quite a popular one. So with that, you can hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate this design. So once you've done that, you can see now you've got this up here and you've got this circle here. I'm going to remove this and leave this. And you've got to really decide now about the arrow, how you want it to be, the angle, the curve, all those sort of things. I think that looks a really nice curve there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select both those shapes, both selected, and then go to Layer, and down to geometry and subtract. So I'm just going to remove that other lips and you've got that. Now, of course, you could reposition it in all kinds of different ways to create thicker or thinner arrows. Now I want to cut this. So at this point, what do I use? Well, I go for you could use any shape, of course, but I'm just going to go with the rectangle tool. Perfect reasonable, and just drag, crazy like that. And I can move it, I can position it. Now, of course, you can position it there, but I'm just going to say about there. I always think that looks nice. Just slightly thicker, obviously going that sort of nice angle there. And again, do exactly the same as before. So with both those selected, you can go to layer, and again, geometry, and again, subtract. And you can see you've now got this design. Next step, triangle. So go here for the triangle. Unfortunately, there's no way of automatically adding an arrow to that. So triangle tool and create a triangle. I'm just going to hold down the shift and create a basic triangle. And of course, you can vary the size if you want. Squeeze it, make it thicker. Up to you. But now I'm just going to rotate it, so just rotate it using this bounding box. And then go up here and just drag, and I want to position, now you can just do it visually. You don't have to use any alignment, just simply just go up there. You can see that they look basically right. And then again, select both the shapes. And then go to layer and down to geometry, and this time, see add. You got it. So once that's been added, now you could of course go for this flat look, this flat design, perfectly reasonable. You might want to add, say, a shadow. Well, you can go to the layers panel, go down to the bottom, effects, click there, and then you go down here and say, add shadow. Make sure you highlight that, have that on, and change the radius, put it about the middle, and intensity, all in the middle, and then Click close if you want just that shadow. But what you can also do is you can maybe a 3D effect. So again, make sure you highlight 3D, check that, and you change the radius. So it gives it a bit of depth. So it gives a nice sort of rounded look. And that's not proper 3D. Unfortunately, that's not available in Affinity Photo. And close. Now, of course, once you've got that, you can then see add whatever you want there. Put some text in and you've got your perfect thumbnail for YouTube. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Bye.